It's always safe to say if my hair is ever in braids, it's just because it's, you know, too dirty, so. Or I'm too lazy to do my hair. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. We are officially over a week. This is insane, but we are nowhere near half, so I hope that you've been loving the vlogs. I have to say, it really does, like, make my day reading the comments. I put up yesterday's vlog this morning, and you guys are loving it, which makes me so happy. Today is kind of, to be honest, a chill day. I do have some, like, more computer work, like, brainstorming emails. I have a meeting in like 20 minutes or so. But other than that, I mean, not too much. Cute, it is what it is. LOL at me still being obsessed with the fact that I have these lights even though it was literally my last vlog. I feel like I would like this stuff like a little more volume or something like that. Okay, well, did I, oh, I didn't put blush on. It was one of those moments where I was like looking at my face thinking what looks different. Boom. Okay. Yay. Hi, Chloe May. How are we today, mamas? Guys, Chloe has been so like extra cuddly lately and I swear it's the weather, but I kind of love it. Here is the fit for the day. It is a very cash. Also, that's very embarrassing. This was on autoplay and my video is playing now. So please don't think that I'm actually that obsessed with myself, but we'll do a quick little OOTD. Like I said, we're not doing too much. So we comf. My jacket is from Forever 21 Men's. The iconic, you don't need no man hoodie. This is a sports bra that's actually from PacSun's new athletic line that they sent over. I really love this color blue. It's like a grayish cool toned blue, like really cool tone, almost purplish. And then I'm just wearing my Lululemon shorts and then Nike socks. I feel like this is the standard. I want to look cute, but I don't want to get ready and I still want to be comfy kind of vibe. I love you so much. So much. <laughs> Why do I look naked? I was too lazy to get my Air Force one. So, hey, kind of cute. Ash, do you want to go get coffee? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I never thought, never thought. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there. Oh, hello. We are doing a few little errands. We are also going to stop and get some coffee. Very, very excited for. Lately, there's been a spot like in the front lately, you know? Oh wait, oh no. Oh yeah, there's one right here. My favorite part of the day. Hi. Hi, picking up for Ashley. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We got the goods, yes. Wait, don't leave me. Here you go, queen. How's your vlogmas going? It's going good. Ooh. Okay, then also need to run to the bank real quick. Oh, it's been a while since I've had Alfred. What'd you get? Uh, cold, cold brew, chaga with oat. Mm. Always with oat. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, this is so embarrassing, but like Ash and I always called the oat milk brand Oatly. It's like no one bothered to correct us to say Oatly. It's just More ingrained fun. in us. It is Oatly to us. <laughs> and it's stuck in my head. Anyways, I got another chaga cold brew with an inch of That's almond milk. That's a big milk. one. That's a normal big one. She said caffeinated. Mmm. <laughs> Got a lot of the chaga. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it crunch. Not me getting health nut two days in a row. Yeah, that happened. You know what? We're not mad at it. I'm fine with it. You ever wonder what I actually get? It's the high protein salad. Sometimes I'll do double chicken. Today we did. I'll usually do no cheese and no nuts on it. And then, oh, this is kind of messed up, but they're brown rice rolls. Oh my God, it is so good. It's just like veggie sushi. So, 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 so good. So you know what time it is, right? and flip how to shake a salad. It really is the best technique. Mm. As you know, I'm very passionate about my health nut salads. This is my thing with them. I have never once had a bad salad. Consistency, that is their number one that they must stand by. Like I've never even had one little lettuce of bad romaine, like ever. Every time it tastes exactly the same. The tomatoes are so freaking good. I don't know how they do it. Oh my God, are we doing like a healthy mukbang? Mm. What you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I don't know. Bob the Builder. Building bookshelves. Fun. Bookshelves. Shoe shelves. We love a furniture building vlog. How is this lighting? Her. Now it seems like a perfect time in the vlog to uh, tell you about today's sponsor, guys. You already know them. They've been around a while. They keep coming back. I'm freaking honored. Drum roll, please. Today's sponsor is... Function of Beauty. <laughs> if you guys haven't heard of Function of Beauty before, then you probably don't watch my vlogs, which 
offended, but it's fine. I won't hold it against you. If you are looking for a hair care system that is literally game changing, I would highly recommend checking out Function of Beauty. And the reason why is we know our hair has different types. People have fine hair, thin hair, coarse hair, curly hair, straight hair, pin straight hair. So why do we all use essentially very similar shampoos? Our shampoos should be customized to our own hair and our own needs. I remember the first time I heard that Function of Beauty did that, I was shook. It makes so much sense to me. Obviously, after you watch the video, you should go to Function of Beauty. There's gonna be a link in my description box and they have a really simple and easy quiz. It's actually kind of fun that you can take. You fill it out, you say if you have curly hair, straight hair, what your hair needs are, is your hair colored or not? Because that's a huge deciding factor. Do you want it fragrance free or what kind of fragrance do you want? These ones smell so good. Also, I'm very aware that I can't smell through this, but that, yeah. Ah, fall number two of Vlogmas. We're fine. And while you're filling out the questionnaire, there's actually 18 different hair goals. So you can select whichever one you personally want for your hair. For instance, for my hair, I would love for it to be super healthy, super moisturized. Also, my hair is dyed, so I always make sure to have the color protection one and then also hydration. It's not even just shampoo and conditioner. They even have hair masks as well as body wash and lotion, so many different things. They get it. They get millennials. They get Gen Zers. We like minimal. We like sleek. We like chic. We like simple. Like. We like aesthetic. I love the idea of it matching. And then also it's completely customized, not only with the formula, but also the bottle. So right here it says function of Alicia. And that way you always know which one's yours. Also, this is my first time adding blue for the color. And no, it does not dye your hair that color. It's just a pretty color you can add to it. Obviously you don't have to do that. So anyways, you guys know I've been recommending these products for literally months now. So if you've been debating it, definitely do it. Use my link in the description box. You can save 20% off. Ooh, question of the day, comment below and tell me what color hair you have. Is it blue? Is it brown? Is it blonde? <laughs> Also, I feel like I rarely sit here, like bringing my chair facing this way. Mostly because my TV's here, so normally lighting's bad, but I whipped out my ring light off of Amazon, link down below. <laughs> I'm kind of into this angle, but I do have a few things that I really want to haul for you guys. So now I'll say it here first. I really never do luxury hauls in general. I don't know. You'd figure after doing this for years on YouTube, it'd be like easier to, sh I don't know. Sometimes I just like feel weird about it, but like I really want to show you guys what I got. So let me know if you like seeing the bouge side of, um, you know, earthing. But yeah, I just never want people thinking that I'm like bragging or, you know, all that ish. But I love watching like handbag hauls or like designer hauls and stuff. I just I still get kind of weird about it. And I don't do these that often. Like it's been a while since I've purchased a bag, but let me know if you guys even like this stuff or not. Cause if you don't, I will keep it to the Instagram story. But yes, yeah, so I indeed purchased some new shoes. Just, I, I, wow. I don't know what to say. So these are, I think officially my most expensive pair of shoes now. If you know, you know. If you don't, let me let me tell you. These are an iconic collab of Off-White and Jordan. Like, I love them. Like, these are so dope. I have officially fully accepted my love for sneakers. I hate the fact that it took me this long. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Like, these are actually so stunning. Yes, you leave the tag on. I know that might seem weird to some people. I just, I don't, I just like, ugh. I almost like don't even want to wear them, but they're pretty. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're, oh my God. We are unwell. It also, I love the fact that it came with like four different lace options. So you have the cream, you have the white, you have like mint color because the sole has mint, which I actually think that's really dope. And then there's also just like black ones. And honestly, all of these would make it look so different too, which I really like. <gasps> So I actually worked with a sneaker app a few weeks ago and essentially like I got these off the app and the funny part was was like they offered to pay me or to pay me in like credit and I was like I don't I just want the credit like I was like I just want shoes so I'm so excited. So yeah I used my credit towards these and I'm just really excited to get some more sneakers because like Here's the thing, you know when you get a gift card and it feels like free money because you're like, oh my God, like I have to spend it. That's how I felt getting credit for these. I'm just, I'm obsessed. Here's a little bit of a closer look for you. Oh my gosh. I am genuinely obsessed. They're so pretty. 
I'm already picturing all the fits right now. I also love how this is like a clear plastic. I feel like I haven't really seen that too much, but wow, yes. This is my early Christmas present to myself. Okay, and then I have one more thing to show you guys. And this one, this one's a funny story. Should we change the background color? Ooh, why not? <laughs> We'll do pink. So you may have seen this purse in some vlogs. I got a new purse. I feel like I've yet to actually talk about it on my channel. This is a pre-loved purse. So I did buy it used, but funny story. This is the Givenchy Antigona. This is the large one. So it's more of the shoulder one. It's not the crossbody. Honestly fits me perfect. I do have like a tall, hold on. Let me not look naked. This is like where it hits me. It honestly fits so good. I do have a long torso. I don't know, but it just like fits me so perfect. I almost bought this purse. These purses were so trendy like four or five years ago. I swear everyone had one and I really just didn't get on the train, but I loved how big it was and how much it held. And then last year I almost bought one. Then I decided not to. And then the other day I'm talking to Remy and she's telling me that she wants to sell some purses. And let me tell you, I was like, can I see those purses before you sell them? <laughs> so I actually bought this off of Remy and she's so funny. She told me, she was like, I literally only wore this like twice. Like I barely touched it. It's essentially brand new. And I know the queen herself definitely took care of this. It literally looks brand new. So I literally Venmoed her like right then and there. And I was like, I will actually buy this bag off of you if you're serious. At first I couldn't tell if she was joking. I was like, are you like, haha? Like, yeah, sure. So I tried to like throw out some hints, be like, are you sure you want to sell that? Because like I'm being serious if you're being serious. I absolutely love it. I kind of regret not getting it sooner. I really don't have a shoulder bag like this. Like I have so many crossbodies. I have a lot of fanny packs. It fits so much. I love it. Givenchy is one of my like my favorite designers. So I'm not going to do a what's in my purse right now, but we'll definitely do one for you guys. V soon if you want, because there's some random shit in here. Anyways, it's bothering me how much I've been sitting in this one position. Cheers to that. Also, thank you, Rem, for giving me a discount. I feel like you did not have to. I'm stoked, literally stoked. So that's my little uh, my little luxury haul over there for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any ideas of how I should style those shoes because I'm so excited to like put together outfits and stuff for them. So yes, let a girl know in the comments.